Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. I'm at Sarasota Avionics in Venice, Florida. In this brief video, we're going to take a look at a new engine monitor from Electronics International, the MVP50. This is one of a new generation of uh, engine monitors that are particularly well suited for aftermarket glass panels. We're going to take a look. I'm with Kirk Fire from Sarasota Avionics. Kurt, I've inspected this uh, installation in this airplane. You've got a G500 in here by Garmin. Uh, the MVP50 seems like a perfect match with that. What are the, some of the factors that make it that way? Um, well, the, uh, the you know having a, a full glass panel is what most people want to go for today. Uh, just the reliability of the equipment uh, and the actual visualization of the equipment uh, is a lot easier to see than the old analog gauges and seeing an exact number instead of kind of guessing at it. So that's where I see it. It's, it's as for the glass uh, with, with those two types of systems. Because of the, the G500 or the Aspen or any of the uh, uh, the EFISs, the, the new EFISs, none of them have the actual engine monitoring out there uh, that will display what you can see on the MVP50. Uh, so we decided to go with the glass, the full glass on this system to get rid of the old analog gauges. And the MVP50 is certified as a replacement for the stock gauges? Full, full certified primary replacement. All right, let's take a look at some of the screens. Okay. And looking at the MVP display here, uh, we're on what you might consider the home page, uh, which shows the basic gauges. It shows fuel, oil, uh, temperatures and pressures. It also has a graphic representation of the cylinders. and. Kirk, show us what else this uh, page will show. Uh, well, this page will also show the, you can do the, the bar graph page, where a lot of people are used to. Uh, if you don't like the digital page, where it actually shows the actual engine cylinders and where they're at located at the engine, uh, whereas this one, it just shows the actual bar graph. Um, you also have a normalized page where you can normalize the cylinders, uh, uh, a Rich of Peak page, uh, a Lean of Peak page, and then back to the digital. Um, also, you can actually show you the difference of the actual, uh, w how many degrees difference of each cylinder has uh, by showing the number six and number one cylinder as a reference. Now, in addition to the basic engine monitor, the MPP-50 uh, will also show uh, what are called synoptics or configuration. How does that work on, on this model, uh, Kirk? Uh, on this one, you set it up. It's, it, that's the nice thing about the MVP-50. You can customize it any way you really you want to. The manufacturer will customize it for you. Uh, we've decided to show different lights uh, and landing gear uh, in configuration. So right now, my landing gear is up and my rotating beacon's on. You could also add flaps and numerous different things. The uh, factory will set that up for you any which way you want to. Also, you got to realize it always shows all your engine information, your, your manifold pressure, your RPM, so you never lose that whatever page you go to. And that's a requirement of the certification? That's a requirement of the certification. You always got to be able to look at your parameters. And you can see everything is in green right now. It would, if there was a problem, something would be in yellow or in red. Okay, let's take a look at some of the other pages. Uh, you have a uh, fuel management page. You can set uh, add fuel. You can also uh, see all your, your, your fuel flow data, uh, your required data to get to whatever your waypoint is, uh, different, different information for fuel management. You have your checklist pages again, and uh, you have a landing checklist. So when we, when we do our landing checklist before we enter the pattern, we'll go through our checklist do that. That's a pretty good set of capability for the MVP-50. What's the typical install price? A uh, typical install price is uh, around seven to $8,000 in a single engine aircraft, not pressurized. So, remember your, your rebates from EI, too. There's uh, always all year oil. They usually have rebates. All right. Well, thanks for the tour, Kirk. Right, thank you. This is Paul Bertarelli with Kirk Fryer reporting from over Punta Gorda, Florida. You can find out uh, more about the MVP-50 in the October 2010 issue of Aviation Consumer at aviationconsumer.com. Thanks for watching.